What's up, guys? Decided today I'd play a little bit of some Ratchet and Clank on the PS5. But it's been a fun game so far. Like I said in my previous unboxing video, I've never played one of these um, until now. But it's been a very fun platformer so far. I've enjoyed playing it. Great graphics, super fast load times. Speaking of which, why don't we see some of those fast load times? It's going completely closed. It's not running in the background or anything. How fast can we actually get into the game? I mean, that's pretty damn fast. I mean, even my computer can't load games this advanced that fast. Gotta give credit where credit is due. The load times on the PS5 are at, for games that are actually coded for it are out of this world. Alright, I figured we'd start off with a little bit of some arena. Just to show off some of the different combat guns and all that stuff. So why don't we go with this guy? Let's see. Mm, let's go with that first. And now that I've put this thing in the 60 perform, uh, 60 FPS performance mode, I've been having a lot more fun with it. Somebody recommended I did that in the comment section of my unboxing video, and I did that immediately. Much smoother, and I don't notice a difference in graphics at all. I just notice a lot smoother gameplay. Then again, I don't have a crazy OLED TV yet. Wait until I move into the new place. Last thing I want to do is spend like three thousand dollars on an LED or an LED TV and then break it or have the movers break it or so many different things could happen all right what other guns can we try out here Ooh, this one's a fun one nope now I'm over here Almost got me. Oh, I thought those guys were all dead. <laughs> oh, we're all out of that guy. Let's just go with some normal blast pistol for a second and finish these guys off. All right, what else do we got that's fun? Ooh, he actually got me. And that's a win.
figured we would uh, go off to some of the various planets real quick just to check them out. Show off the creative imagination behind the people who created this game. Ah, uh, worlds are pretty neat looking. And I like how you can get pretty much everywhere within seconds. Like I, like I said again, that just shows how fast this thing loads. I got some health. Anyway, that's just a quick little small lap around. I mean, you see one part of it, you see basically a mall. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. This is a fun world. I like this place. Let's see if I can remember how to frick to fly this thing. Alright, so that slows it down. Alright, that's how we steer. Alright. Let's go on a quick little lap. Feel like I'm playing freaking Panzer Dragoon Orta here. But yep, it's kind of a swampy, swampy world. the next planet. But first I'm gonna give my phone a little break otherwise it'll overheat since it's supposed to be limited to five minute videos but then I use it as my YouTube camera and I'll constantly keep going right after the fact and not give it any time to cool down and I should stop doing that. I want to break my one one plus eight pro. So Quick break, and then I'll continue the video. On to the next planet. Now this is the planet that I'm supposed to go on and talk to somebody but tell me I can't come back and do anything so I'm assuming that's probably the last quest of the game but there's not too much to see here if you go over there that's where the arena is but it really is just kind of like the last road feel still cool and all for being the small world it is but not much to really see here
almost. I don't know why, but this one always, this place always kind of reminded me of Borderlands kind of world. And now over here. Alright, let's head back to the ship. Oh yeah, it's this place. This place is interesting. It's one of those places where you can hit this crystal and it'll take you to like a different dimension. Like right now it's all messed up and super destroyed. Looks pretty freaking cool compared to the last like asteroid field, but then we can be like bam. And this is what it used to look like. Or it looks like now, one of the two. I'm assuming it used to look like. Seeing as though every time I actually come here it's destroyed. Yep, to get around you that you just basically have to hit those things to move from place to place. Which is kind of interesting. I'm not gonna go too much farther than this, but you just basically get around like this, hitting those little things. Oh, can I not get back over there? Alright, well I guess I can't get back over there, whatever. This is kind of fun anyway. All right, time to give the camera another little break. And back on our adventure we go. Cool, some combat outside of what you call it, the uh, arena. Let's go with Doom Blades. They're fun. Oh, more of them, huh? Pretty fun looking world though, it's like a, like steampunk. Anyway.
and this is a pretty small world. What you see here is basically all you get. Still pretty cool though. Almost like it's on a freaking moon of Neptune or something. Anyway though, not the most interesting one of all planets or levels in the game, but we're checking them all out, so it's on the it's on the list. So what's next? Ah yeah, this place. A pirate base. I can't believe that would base on, like, the top end of a broken world. Yeah, but very piratey. This place is very rainy and thunderstormy. Cool, more Doom Blade ammo. But yeah, very industrial. And lots of the weird rips. So, one of the uh, things I've been trying to do is get the uh, the achievement for this void repulsor gun where you knock all these bullets back at 10 people or whatever, or, or their own bullets back. I thought I was doing it before, I was sitting here like, why aren't I doing it? And then I realized I wasn't shooting the projectiles back, I was just hitting them with the shockwave. Oh, yep, I think this is the one with the people that shoot. Yeah. So I've got to charge it up. And then aim it back at them. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work or not. But I feel like I keep letting them get too close. At least that's how I thought it was supposed to work. See, that I think was just the blast. I don't think that counts. It's not an easy one to get, and it's almost out of energy now. All right, well, we're out of ammunition for that, so I guess we failed to get the achievement this time. I'll get it eventually.
away for Supreme Overkill. My gun's a little more powerful than yours. Not anymore. But yeah, I think this video is getting pretty long at this point, but this game is a lot of fun. Can't wait to beat it, and then I think I'll move on to Final Fantasy. 7 Remake Intergade. That should be a lot of fun too, obviously. I'll make some videos on that as well. But anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next video, peace out, guys.